everybody, I come to you uh, with a testimony. I tried to share this this morning at Starbucks with two gentlemen, and uh, they declined. And I pray you don't do the same. Uh, I pray that you listen. Whew. This is a story of God's redemption, and it's amazing. <clears throat> Down in Indiana Westland, I let stresses, worries, and fears overtake my life. Instead of clinging to God, instead of clinging to Him when I needed Him most, I let Him go. And when people tried to come and encourage me, I shoved every single one of them away. God gave me opportunity after opportunity to share. And I pushed them away. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, I pray you use this to encourage I uh, pray that these words come from you and not from my mouth. God wrecked me about three weeks ago. Absolutely wrecked me. I got to my breaking point. I broke down. Tears fell. And love poured in. God sent a man, Ron Hardy, a man who was faithful to God, to come into my life. To grab my hand as a man of God to tell me that he loves me. As an ambassador of Christ, he came to me and got in that pit with me. Last night at church with my friend Ellison, God wrecked me again. He wrecked me again. We read in 1 Kings chapter 19 about the story of Elijah, and that is exactly where I was at. Elijah ran from God. He hid in a cave. I hid in a cave. My basement, my room at Iwu, I hid in a cave. And God came and said, what are you doing here, my son? What are you doing here? With compassion, with grace with love, with a sternness of a father, what are you doing here? And he said, go to Elijah. He said it twice. Elijah poured out his complaints. He poured out what he had within him. And God said, once again, what are you doing here? God wrecked me. In that story because that is exactly where I was at in my cave cowering in fear believing the lies of the deceiver he said give up he said quit you cannot do this he said he used Proverbs 14 25 and twisted it in my head he twisted the scriptures says, when the storm has swept by, the wicked will be washed away, but the righteous will stand firm forever. And he told me I was wicked and that I was going to be washed away. And he used another parable, the parable of the wise and foolish builder. He told me I built my house on sand. Well, my name is Peter, the steadfast rock, you deceiver. I will no longer believe your lies. They have no place in my life. I rebuke them in the name of Jesus. God's love broke through. And he said, go. Go. God used friends. God used believers. God used the body. God used his love and his forgiveness and his mercy and his grace and his 70 times 7 forgiveness. And I am coming back stronger. I wish I had done this months ago. I wish I had shared and opened up and be vulnerable, but I didn't. I believe those lies and I will no longer do that. God has a calling on my life and I will live out that calling if it kills me.
Where he sends me, I will go. Because his love is enough. His grace covers over a multitude of sins. And his grace is sufficient. I will rebuke the lies of Satan. And I will trust in the still small voice that calls me back to him. That calls me back to his throne on my knees. I praise you, Holy Father, for rescuing me from the pit, for getting me out of my cave. To God be the glory. I am Peter Akauer, and I am second.